Hello everybody. For all you that don't know me, I'm uh, Jordy at Carve Infusion here. So let's cut to the chase. Not much talking and more uh, carving on this video. So I'm always looking online for, um, <clears throat> ins excuse me, ins inspiration on uh, to do new p pieces, hard pieces, simple pieces. I'm always looking at wood carvings and art pictures and stuff like that. So a fellow named Robert Rivera did... Uh, a gnome, a fence board gnome, and I really liked it. I told him that I want to make a video of it, so I'm excited to do it. So I'm going to make this video today. You guys can see earlier in the video, it was a $6 cedar board. You can use pine or whatever kind of fence board you guys have. I got three pieces out of it, right? So what's that? Uh, two bucks each for each one of these. It cost me in materials, okay? So um, I'm, going to, I'm going to put a picture right now of uh, show you Robert's Rivera's gnome guy that he did santa gnome or whatever you want it to be so here's the pictures right now i'll show you and you'll see that his are have a lot more movement so you guys when you use your uh, saw give it some movement when you cut your pieces you can see his has a lot more movement and that's better but i'm just trying to make this a quick video just to show you guys how to do it it's only this stuff's only probably like three quarter inches thick they call it one by six but it's not true one by six and um so it's going to be a real shallow carving you don't have to carve too deep to try and get that roundness, right? It's just less carving, more painting. And what I'm going to do in this video here, uh, I'm going to be using, oh, what is it? It's the uh, Cuts All Extreme Flame Burr. Okay, so this burr that goes in the Dremels are 1 8 Okay, 1 8 Cuts All Extreme Flame Burr. I'm running a Dremel 4000 on a Dremel flex shaft, okay? You guys, if you break your flex inner flex shafts, I have videos in my playlist, how to repair your flex shaft. If this thing stops spinning, don't worry, this whole thing's not junk. You can repair the inner flex shaft. So anyways, you can go down to the link below to get these cut soles. I think they're the best burrs in the whole universe. And um, use the code. It, they're, the link for this is in the friggin' description. I'm going to start carving here. Jeez, Jordy. Okay, guys, I'm going to do some live carving here just to get this party started. You don't have to carve. This is basically just carving lines on, the, on your marks and feathering it away so you don't see your cut lines, okay? So let's get this party started. Okay, guys, so your gnome doesn't need to be um, as big as this, okay? So what, this is uh, two feet tall. So you can see here I got the sharp edges rounded off. Just a little bit. You still see there's some normal board edge there, but I rounded it. And I uh, just did my cuts, okay? Super simple. You guys be careful right there underneath the lip. I almost cut right through it. So you don't have that much room to carve depth, right? So this isn't about depth because this is more simple carve and more painting. So um, anyways, now what I'm going to do is uh, use this cut saw and just quickly carve some simple beard hairs in here, okay? And then I'm going to sand it and then we're going to lightly burn it. Yep, that's what we're going to do. my beard hair is cut in I kind of blended in the mustache with the beard okay so I got this flap sander now it's a Peter Blair mandrel uh, will be in my description below how you get these I think they're like ten dollars or twelve dollars with shipping included or something um, from Peter Blair 
So um, anyways, I'm going to sand it up before I burn it because this helps. I can't burn this too deep because if you burn this too deep, will, the wood will start cracking because it's so thin, right? All I'm doing when I'm doing this sanding right now is trying to get my cut marks out of here and get it nice and smooth, okay? Okay, so I got it all sanded um, to as much as I want it. You can see his nose isn't square. Like, look at the left side cheek and the right side cheek are two size difference. That's because I didn't put it down the nose center of the board. So anyways, it's sanded. And uh, Robert's um, one that he did, he did a lot better job. This is just a quick thing for me just to show you guys kind of how I do it. And, um, well how I'm learning how to do it. So what I'm going to do now is burn it with this torch. Okay. I got this black thing on here so the, the wood doesn't fall on my carving table. But you guys, when you do some burning, just put take it outside and do it outside. It's a lot safer. And, and let your piece sit out there for half an hour after you're done burning it because you don't know if there's little, little ambers on it that are just smoldering away. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Okay, so these tanks are normally blue propane tanks, right? So I'm just going to give this a light burn. Just to get that effect, right? You kind of go with the grain. Can burn it a bit deeper in the, the shallow spots. Okay, so I'll do the rest down here and then uh, I'll be back. Okay, you can see here I got it all burned up pretty good. Okay, I burned the cheeks and the nose more because those are going to be left uh, wood color. So, you can see there it started cracking. No big deal. Meh. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, you guys, when you do this, this is kind of like Shosugi band style kind of thing. When you do this, you don't use sandpaper because you use sandpaper... The wood has two different types. Each grain is for each year of the tree, like one year, two year, three years, four years old. But the dark grain, the dark part of the grain is from the winter time and the lighter part is the summertime, right? So anyways, you don't use sandpaper because you can do what you want, really. But I don't use sandpaper because it takes the colors away, right? So you use this scotch Bright stuff. You can get this stuff at the dollar store. This is just, I think it's scotch Bright. You know, you get the green stuff from the dollar store or whatever. And, um... Yeah, okay. So I got this on this wheel here, Peter Blair Mandrel, and I'll go around cleaning it all up. And the more that you do it, the brighter you're going to get those whites to come out, and the darker those blacks are going to be, okay? So watch on video. I'll concentrate on this area, and watch the more that I do it, the brighter it will come back. Okay, guys, so there you can see it's all burnt and cleaned. Five minutes. So, you guys might be wondering about this sign. This is Just Carve Rob Shop. Um, he's got a YouTube channel, Just Carve Rob. He's one of my uh, better online friends. And um, go check out his YouTube channel, Just Carve Rob. Hi, Rob. 
and uh, Ben's studio on the lake. They suck. Their bed's getting all dirty and uh, stuff like that. So, guys, Ben over studio on the lake, too. He's got a YouTube channel. They're both wood carvers. So, check out their channels. Anyway, so, um, got some paint here. We're going to paint this. You guys can paint this hat any color you want. You know, I got that ball up there. So, basically, this one's for sand for Christmas. But you don't have to ball have the ball up there. It can just be a gnome. So, I got the red. I got uh, some deep red for the hat. I got some uh, white. This is just dollar store acrylic paint for the uh, beard and the mustache and the brim and stuff. And I got this fruity, uh, sparkly stuff that I got on Amazon. Here's the name. Aline's Glitter Snow. Okay, yep, so let's get painting. Okay, so we'll start off with this red first. We've got a Carver Fusion sandpaper paint tray here. I sell these paint trays uh, online, guys, after the videos. Um... So what I'm going to do is just quickly wipe this paint on. I do it pretty quick because I don't want it to dry up. So you can see the black coming through there. So but what I'm going to show you quickly is I got this uh, paper towel here. I just give it a wipe so, you know, look at the colors really come through after you give it a wipe, right? So this is going to be the Shosugi. Well, shitter pants, uh, gnome Santa guy. Shh, try not to swear in my videos, but you got to say the show Susie, show Susie. We'll call it show Susie pooped her pants. Sorry for all those people that uh, I offend with my language. Okay, so you can see that that's without the wipe. That's with the wipe, right? Without the wipe and with the wipe. So let's give it a wipe. Get those black colors to come back out there look at that boom hallelujah okay so i'll finish painting this black, uh, red and i'm going to uh, dry it with this heat gun and because uh, it's acrylic paint you can do that and i'll be back or uh, blow dryer i got no time to waste you got to dry this paint and get on to the next thing right right you guys can see the hats done Look how the colors pop, right? I didn't even burn it that deep. So now I got some water in here, okay? I'm going to give this, um, I got too much water in here. But I'm going to give this, uh, I'm going to, it's just called a wash, okay? So here's this dollar store white paint, acrylic. Pour some paint in there. It's called a wash, right? So, well, I don't know if this is called a wash, but it's called making the paint not so bright in my world. Okay, so mix it up there good. And then we'll just start slapping the white paint on. I made it thinner so you can see that burn, the burn through the paint, right? The Shosugi pooped her pants. And be careful, guys. It gets a lot more runny when you do it this way. So when I go all the way up too, it just gives it a more Santa Claus effect. Okay, so I'm going to get this beard done. Then we'll come along and we'll paint this white too. Uh, sorry, I'm going to get this beard done. And then we'll come along and paint this white too, the brim and then the little cap. Okay. Okay, so you can see there he is. Gnome Santa elf guy. Um, I like Roberts a lot better, but it doesn't matter. Do what you want. This is like probably... If I wasn't filming, I could probably do this. Uh, well, whatever. It doesn't matter how long you do it in. So anyways, it's um, dry. should be dry, but I'm going to use this Mod Podge. You should wait a day for the paint really to dry properly because you don't want to get white on the face and white on the red because what do red, white and red make? They make pink, and we don't want pink in Carving Fusion. So here's this Mod Podge. And what I'm going to do is, um, let's hit it. Got it in this cup here. I'll do the face first, so there's I don't have any worries about um, getting the red or the white on the face, okay? So I'll get this whole thing mod podge, and you'll see how it look, look how it brings out the colors more now. Once it dries, it will be clear. Okay, I'll get this done, and I'll be back. Okay, so the mod podge is on now. It's all dry. You see, it's kind of got that old shiny effect to it, okay? So now what I'm going to do is put this uh, silly glitter snow stuff on there to... Um, Make it real pop. You can't really see the glitters in the video, but this stuff is, um, there's A-L-E-E-N-E-S, Glitter Snow. I think probably this, I checked it out on some YouTube video, uh, YouTube videos, and this stuff's probably the best stuff. 
it's not too glittery either so but you guys know the ladies like the glitters for christmas time so get your glitter stuff yep but okay so this stuff's like a paste here um um yes i know i could have mod podged it after i put the glitter stuff on but i really don't care and if you care that much well and i know you can use a foam thing to make it look more like snow okay but again i really don't care that much so just put it on all the white pieces You know, so you don't have to make this this gnome thing a Santa. You could do like a green cap, a blue cap. Sorry. You can make it whatever you want to make it. That's the best thing about art. It's your art. Do what you want. Do what you want, right? Oopsies. Okay, so I'll get this stuff on. And then uh, finish putting this paste stuff on and I'll be back. I'm just going to spread it everywhere. Just like, yeah, see, look. <laughs> you just get it on there like that. <laughs> yep, goodbye. Okay, Okay, maybe you guys might be able to see the glitters in here. I don't know. There's way more not like when you look at it in real life than I don't even know if you're going to be able to see them here. So anyways, that's that. Okay, guys, so that's going to wrap up this video. Um, Robert Rivera, thanks for uh, posting in the Carving Fusion, World of Wood Carvers group, um, giving me the idea to make one of these things. I got two more to carve, so I'm going to be carving them right now and getting them done. So guys, very simple, easy, easy project for you to do. You don't need to do one this big. Super easy to do, and um, they'll be good sellers at Christmas time. So thanks again, Robert, and I'm glad you uh, discovered Carving Fusion and me on my YouTube and I'm glad that um, you started wood carving again. See you later.